Today I'm going to demonstrate how to boot up your laptop or computer using Aspirus Windows to Go encrypting USB drive and begin enjoying the benefits of a secure Windows environment. Before I begin, I would like to let you know that we will be needing to modify the BIOS in order to set up our WorkSafe Pro. Your BIOS will likely look a little different than the BIOS I'll be showing, as each hardware manufacturer will have their own BIOS setup. However, the general procedure is the same in all BIOS configurations, so you should be able to follow along without too much difficulty. To begin, make sure your laptop or other hosting device is powered down completely. Insert your WorkSafe Pro into a functional USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 port. When you are ready, power on the hosting device. When the manufacturing logo appears on screen, notice how I'm pressing the F2 key. Based on your manufacturer, you may need to press a different key. For a list of computer vendor make and models, and their particular boot keys, check the link in the video's description below. In some devices, the splash page will briefly display the hotkey to press to get to the BIOS menu. Press the correct key indicated by the menu to get to the BIOS. If the window screen shows up, reset your computer and try again until you see the BIOS screen. You should see a menu on the right of the screen with instructions for how to navigate your machine's BIOS. In some cases, this menu will be on the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen, you should see a tab labeled Boot. In some cases, the boot setting will be under the advanced settings of your BIOS. Navigate to this tab by using the appropriate keys indicated in the menu, or using your mouse if permitted. Before continuing, make sure that the fast boot setting is disabled. On most machines, the fast boot option will be the first option under the boot section. Disabling fast boot will give you more time to get to the BIOS in the future. Once you've disabled fast boot, go down to the boot priority section. Make sure your Spirus WorkSafe Pro is set at the top of the boot priority. In most cases, you should be able to achieve this by pressing the plus key to move the device to the top of the boot priority. Once you've done this, save and exit the BIOS using the appropriate command indicated in the menu. Your device should restart and you should be prompted for your Spirus login credentials. That's it! You are now ready to begin using your WorkSafe Pro device.